Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Publisher 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fill a shape with a picture and crop that picture. Let's get started. Alright, so to crop a picture, that's what I'm going to start with first. We have to first insert the picture. So to insert a picture, you go to the Insert tab, and then you go to the Illustrations group, and then you click Pictures right here. This is if your picture is saved on your computer. Mine is saved on my desktop, and it's right here. I'll double click it to open it up. Alright, so this picture is pretty large and you can see some students down here and let's say that I want to crop out certain sections of this picture. Uh, all I have to do is make sure first my picture is selected and then I'll go to the picture tools format tab and then the crop group and then right over here you click on the crop button. That's this one right here. Okay, and once I click that it's going to open up these black handles along the top middle and bottom and each of the corners okay and this is where we drag our uh, picture to crop it so let's see these students right here are a little off to the right let's say I want to drag the crop line in to about this point to center them better well I'll click on the left crop handle which is right here and then I will drag it to the right and release maybe I drag a little bit to the left over here using the other crop handle and then finally, maybe there's too much tree in this picture, I'm going to drag the top crop handle down like that. Okay, so now our picture is a more manageable size, maybe this is the way we want it to look. And then finally, I go back up to crop, and I click on crop to complete it. There we go, so there's our picture. Okay, now another cool thing that you could do within Publisher, and I'm just going to move this off to the side for the scratch area. Another cool thing that you could do in Publisher is uh, you could add in a shape and actually add the picture to that shape. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. To go to the, in, uh, to the shape menu, you have to go to the insert tab. <clears throat> then you go to the illustrations group and click on shapes right here. When you click shapes, I want you to think about the shape that you want the picture to appear in. I'm actually going to use this same example from this picture over here. And so I'm going to choose oval. I think oval will be a good uh, shape for this picture. And then I'm going to draw my oval. Okay, so maybe I want the students to appear right within that oval right there. Okay, so the shape fill is going to be blue automatically, uh, depending on your theme, but mine is blue right here, and so I'm going to change this blue area to be this picture, uh, or the picture that I just used. And so the, how, the way we do that is we go to the Drawing Tools Format tab, the Shape Styles group, and you click on Shape Fill, because that's the actual shape fill. So that's currently blue, you can see it right there. But as I click on Shape Fill, you can actually see Picture is an option down here towards the bottom. And I click on Picture, and then I can choose a picture from a file, from a Bing image search, or from OneDrive. I'm going to choose from a file. I'll go back to my picture that I originally showed you, which is this one right here. And I click Insert, and there we go. Okay, so that's the picture within the shape. So that's how we fill a shape with a picture and how to crop an image. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, make sure you put it into the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you and try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.